Melton Foundation just opens a door for me. It like sensitizes you to a different variety of cultures coming from different parts of the world. Before I joined Melton Foundation, I have never traveled abroad. The social aspect of it is just awesome. The Melton Foundation gave me this opportunity that I can communicate with uh, people in other country. Through the homestays, the internships, through the mails, the internet, chats and so many other things. The opportunity to voice your opinion without any restriction. If I have this opportunity, I have to do something with it. It helps me to become a global citizen. The actual idea for the Melton Foundation was Bill's and Bill's alone. I don't deserve credit for that. I simply wanted to bring these bright, intelligent, talented young people together and let whatever magic was going to happen to happen. That's the way he thinks. He is a visionary. A few people brought together by understanding, by love, by wisdom, they can change the world. Bill has an ultimate faith that if you bring good people together, something amazing will happen, something magic will happen. No matter how much you see movies of another culture, it is not the same as knowing someone in another culture. In that process of knowing someone, you discover not only how you are different, but how you are alike. The first objective was simply to bring talented young people together uh, outside of their own cultures, to allow them to form strong and deep friendships with people in a different culture. And out of the magic of that, there would be a new network replacing old boys' networks with new persons' networks. I have faith and I have hope and I have belief that there will be connections and projects and ideas that arise that will in fact help change the world. The Milton Foundation was established in 1991 in the Commonwealth of Virginia, the United States. Being the first university, Westmark University, the alma mater of Bill Melton. Later on, Dillard University in New Orleans joined the program. We had three very strict criteria for selecting a country and universities, but particularly countries. We wanted to find countries that had a strong respect for education countries that had a strong work ethic, and a countries that we thought were going to go through rapid economic change. Bill decided that, and we together decided that the first university should probably be what was in East Germany, since they had less opportunity for travel abroad, that Jena was the most appropriate for us. The program seemed to be able to profit from what the Melton Foundation would have to offer, and they were interested in us. We went next to India. We pre-selected seven or eight small universities or colleges to visit. BMS was one of those. The next place then after India was China, it was a growing country, and a country that would be of great importance in the world, and a good country uh, from among which to select young people to work with and university to work with. And we chose the Zhang University for a variety of reasons. We liked the people we met there. They were interested in our foundation. We thought that the mix was right, the fit was going to be right. And uh, we made a good choice there. And then the next one was Chile. We liked uh, what we saw in UFO because 
of a couple of things. They had a mission to the Mapuches. They were looking outward from themselves. It was a place where there was no doubt that the Milton Foundation would make a difference, would be able to contribute. The first symposium was in Lamars, Iowa, at Westmar University, where Bill and I went to school. I think the primary thing we learned there was the strength of the young people. It just gave us hope for the future. The Melton Foundation has truly given me a better sense of what it truly means to be a global citizen, to be aware, and not just aware, but to be concerned about issues that are going on in different parts of the world. I've had opportunity to talk with Chinese people and Chileans and Indians and Germans and interacting with people from different cultures, working with people from different cultures. We are changing our glasses and here we learn to put different kind of glasses in order to have a, a best communication to different kind of cultures. It's just expanded my whole universe of, of being. It has not only taught me about other cultures, but it has taught me about my own culture. And that's very important for you to understand other people, so you can, and you need to better understand yourself and your culture and your place within the world. You can learn, you can get an experience um, from other people, and you can share with them what you are. I think it's great that I've made so many friends from different countries. Um, and it's all about, you know, um, continuing the friendships. I can't imagine anybody um, interacting the way uh, we interact, the TTs interact, the fellows interact, those of us on the board uh, interact uh, without having some small measurable change in our personal lives which in fact influence other lives whom we touch. We have a special bond in the Melton between the fellows and the TTs. It's almost like uh, it's like a paternal bond. I'm learning every day. I'm getting to know a different culture daily. To meet the people from New Orleans, to meet the people from uh, Temuco, to meet the people from Hangzhou, from Bangalore, from Jena, of course. Yeah, to meet the people and find friends all over the world. Isn't that fantastic? I can go to any place in the world and feel like it's my home. No problems. Make friends with anybody. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing I've gained. Confidence and understanding. Respect. Respect to the other people. Respect to the other culture. Whenever there's a change in your life and you start seeing things from a different angle, you discover new aspects of the Melton Foundation that you didn't see before because of your personal situation. So there are lots of things that, that I really appreciate and that I feel even privileged to be a member of that foundation. I can see how much, uh, how many pro benefits our fellows uh, receive by being in the family, by taking part in many activities, uh, working with other uh, fellows from different countries and uh, even myself I can see better you know uh, I can understand uh, uh, different cultures better. It's only when you get to understand these different beautiful wonderful cultures that you come to think that yes I'm truly a global citizen and everybody is inherently the same. The Melton Foundation is probably one of the finest creations of the 21st century, 20th and 21st centuries. There is nothing else like this uh, in the world. The original intent of Melton was to prepare for a product of individuals who would be culturally sensitive, globally savvy, and make or influence changes throughout the world. So it's a learning and growing process for life.
if we look at the present of the foundation, we have something. But we have to look at the future and how we envision the future. During the past 14 years, we have been building a network. An active network, a cohesive network, building strong and dynamics in individual and group connections. One of the big assets that we have in the foundation is diversity. Diversity in terms of culture, in terms of interest, in terms of set of skills that the people of the network have. And that's an asset that this network, that converts this network in a unique network with a lot of potential to create certain impact in the world. And these connections are, must be oriented to produce transcendence of the foundation to the future. That means also sustainability of the foundation, development, and projection. Development and growth is a natural component of our organization. If you see, we started with only two universities. We currently have five universities. We are a network of around 300 people. And if you project the same level of growth, you will end up having a network with 500 members in the next 10 years. And also probably including a new university. 500 members distributed worldwide, young professionals, a fully successful professional that will empower our network and it will bring the critical mass that we need to make positive change in the world. We are much more than a virtual network, we are a network of people. When you start thinking about the dispersion, the geographical dispersion of our members, places like Kuala Lumpur, Tokyo, Shanghai, Hong Kong, New York, Santiago, Bangalore, Frankfurt looks very close because we have people there, we have connections there, we have contacts there. We need to provide certain elements, certain environments so people can interact and can profit from the network and profit from the members of the network in a most positive way that somehow is, along, is in line with their professional development. I'm going to be a professor and I would love to work together with other professionals in other countries to learn, to exchange ideas, to make projects together. Thus, forming clusters of interest groups worldwide is one of the activities that we must empower within the Melton Foundation. In the process of making communication, we're trying to complement the online work and the online communication with publications, we're organizing meetings and face-to-face -face gatherings. Making this world smaller and bringing very new perspective, bringing a very new set of tools to the members of our network. Opportunity. Progress. The intercultural exchange. Professional empowerment. Mutual respect. New vision of the world. Bonding. Contact leverage. The chance to shape the future. What is presently happening is worth funding. The foundation needs to grow and for the same reason needs to do some fundraising. And that fundraising should come not only from the alumni, I'm very sure the alumni will be glad to collaborate with the foundation because they believe in the goal. They are part of this goal. The foundation has given me lots of things and enriched my life so much, so I think I should give back something. But also the responsibility of the network is reaching out to other external organizations, some institutions, and start doing some collaborative work, some joint work. We have to have the foundation transcend to the future to future generations, not only looking at the inside, but also looking at the outside. What happens next is up to the members of the foundation.